Hey everyone! So I know I have been horrible lately. I haven't made a video in about a week and I've been trying to be good about making a video every two to three days, but it just did not happen this week. So this weekend I'm going to be making a lot of videos and preparing myself so it doesn't happen again. I really want to make a Coachella inspired outfit video. I tweeted about that and some people were excited. I'm not actually going to Coachella. Uh, but I did notice last year when Coachella was going on, I didn't go last year either, but um, everyone kind of did some kind of Coachella inspired outfits and a lot of stores did just like a section that was themed for Coachella, so I was really inspired. I will have that over the weekend. But today I have a haul. I picked up a couple of items. I know in my last video I said I wasn't particularly particularly, I can't say that word, particularly happy with my first Wild Fox purchase, but I want to stick with it because I do really like the person who owns Wild Fox. I don't know her, I've never talked to her, but I follow her blog, so um, I want to give her other things a try, and um, I was on the site Karma Loop, I shop there all the time, but they were having um, a 40% off all their sale things, and they're not having it anymore, so there were some items from Wild Fox on sale, and I thought that would be the perfect time to finally pick up some other items. I mean, I do like the other thing I have, it's just like for the price, I didn't think it was worth it. But, uh, okay, so the first item I am wearing, and I will be showing these in outfits because I think I'm going to add these items into my Coachella video, so you'll be able to see them better on over the weekend. But uh, I got, oh, my eyelashes are sticking together. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I'm sorry. Does that happen to anyone? Like, when you just put on mascara and, like, you blink and they start, like, connecting together and, like, morphing into one and, like, gluing your eyes shut. I don't know. Okay, maybe I have weird eyes. Dress I'm wearing and normally it's, I think, overpriced. I can't remember the exact price, but I think it's somewhere between $100 and $200. I know it's, like, a big leap, but I can't remember exactly what it was, and then it was marked down to $60, and then it was 40% off that, so, um, I always really, I don't own many maxi dresses because I'm short, I'm 5'3", so most of them are too long, but I saw another fashion blogger who tied theirs in a loop, and, uh, that way you don't have to, like, go through the process of getting it altered, and then I can still wear it with heels if I untie the loop and stuff. And I think it's going to be really good for summer. And I don't have anything orange. So that's the reason why I bought this dress. I will stand up and show you. I didn't tie it in the loop because I just put it on for the video to show you. Oops. But it's maxi, so that means it's long. goes all the way to the ground. How am I going to show this to you? This is dangerous. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. <sighs> because my living room is occupied right now. Um, there's people in my apartment. So... I can't do, make the usual video where I show you what I'm wearing, but I will do that over the weekend. I know that was a ridiculously odd job of showing you what I was wearing. The other Wild Fox item I bought, I think this shirt is normally like 90 and then I think it was marked down to like 40 and then 40% 40 off that. So I really want to get this shirt just because I felt like it'd be like a good everyday t-shirt. I dress really down for school. Um, I mean, I'm lucky if I wear like a t-shirt. Sometimes I just wear my pajamas and like a robe. <laughs> Not that bad. But, um, yeah, so I just wanted a good everyday piece. And, oh, yeah, I, I kept the tag on because I think they're so cute. It comes with, like, a little kiss mark, and it kind of looks like my lipstick right now. kind of looks like my dress, actually. Um, but, yeah, I think it was a good price for this shirt. I love this graphic. Um, really good basic tee. I haven't worn it yet. The other thing I got is, if you know me, you know I love the brand Style Stalker. And I got this from Nasty Gal. Uh, this, I think, came out months ago, like this style. And I was obsessed with it. But it was so pricey. It's, it's really pricey. And I just couldn't bring myself to buy it. And it sold out everywhere. And then that made me want it more. And... I kept looking for it, and it was like, we're not getting any more in stock, I'm sorry, I was calling like Revolve Clothing, like Shop Bop, they were just like, sorry, like it's a limited thing, we're not getting any more, so I kind of had my dreams broken, and um, I don't know why I have a strong emotional attachment to this item of clothing that I'm about to show you, but I did, and uh, when I saw it come out on Nasty Y'all, like four days ago, I immediately got it. So the pants are, I'll put a picture. Um, this is not the reason why I wanted to get them, but I have seen them on Kim Kardashian and the High School Musical girl, Vanessa Hutchins. They are high-waisted, which I think is nice because they don't, like, get tight around where I feel like females store a lot of their weight in their hips. 
you're gonna see better in the picture but pretty much they have they're like regular leggings they're kind of like a thicker material they're not like see-through or anything it starts with this like ribbing and then it has like this knee patch over and it's like open around the knee so when you walk it looks really cool and it just goes all the way down I've worn these as much as I could since I've got them. I really, 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 really love them. So if you are looking for an interesting staple, like a legging, but has like a really unique effect to it, that'll like really spice up any outfit, I would suggest these. I can't believe they've already almost sold out on Nasty Gal, but um, I think they only have size 2 and size 4. I'm just so sorry about making... Not a lot of videos. I don't want to say that in every video. I hate when, like, I watch YouTubers saying that. I'm like, I know you haven't been here. I've been watching you not be here, so you don't need to say it. But, uh, yeah. Also, I'm getting my hair done Friday. So, in two days from now, because it's Wednesday, I think I'm probably going to be able to get this up, like, right after I film this. But I don't know what I'm going to do to my hair. Obviously, I let the purple fade out. Um, my roots are intense. I'm thinking about getting bangs. Not sure. Uh, leave a comment down below if you think I should do something out of the ordinary, which is my lilac hair. I have pink, but I don't know if I really like the pink on me. I ordered a green color, but it hasn't come in forever. I wanted to do like green on the ends, like fade into it. All right, well that is everything. The sun is going down. I am losing all my sunlight, and if you make YouTube videos, then you know no sunlight means no videos. So, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.